Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with Market Experts Realty and the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team with another video in our series about relocating to or moving within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Now, this is video number 13 in the series. You certainly don't need to watch every video if you know where you're looking, but if you're out of market and you're thinking about moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I would encourage you to watch most of, if not all of the videos. What we're doing is giving you a fairly in-depth snapshot of some of the cities around the Metroplex. By the, by the end of the series, who knows, we might get every single one of them, but this is number 13 and it won't be the last one. And today, we're talking about Grapevine, Texas. Uh, a really, really neat area, sort of in the heart of the Metroplex, a little bit closer to the Fort Worth side of things. Uh, but Grapevine has been a really, really desirable area to live for a long time. It's just a city that's known uh, for being really well maintained with a lot of attractions and a lot of benefits for, uh, for home ownership. Uh, the heart of Grapevine is, is downtown Grapevine, which is a sort of historic downtown area. You've got sort of a, a strand strip of older retail buildings, and a lot of those buildings are wineries. So Grapevine gets its name because it was an area with a lot of grapevines, a lot of vineyards, right? Um, so downtown Grapevine has a lot of the, the uh, retail fronts where you can pop in and do the wine and cheese and uh, salami kind of stuff. Uh, my wife and I have spent a Valentine's Day there bouncing around, so it's a really fun area. There's also a lot of locally owned restaurants and businesses there. Um, so it's a really cool kind of hub that draws people in. You also have uh, uh, Gaylord Texan, one of the amazing Gaylord Hotel properties, as well as a Great Wolf Lodge, amazing indoor water park, and many other really, really neat attractions. It is very, very close to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, so easy in and out. And then really great as far as getting to and from Fort Worth as well as getting to and from Dallas. Grapevine Mills Mall is another huge attraction uh, with some amazing movies and retail shopping and some attractions. There's a, there's a Lego uh, kind of kids theme park deal there uh, and a lot going on. As far as housing in Grapevine, uh, mid to upper mid price points and, and options in the whole spectrum of housing prices. In that downtown area, you do have some older historic homes. Uh, you certainly have a lot of new construction and housing of just about every type, mostly single family detached residential neighborhood type homes. But you do have some small acreage properties, some historic homes, not a whole lot, but some condos and townhomes in kind of the city center area. Uh, great location throughout, you know, to commute throughout the Metroplex, um, again, on the north central side of things, um, but a really wonderful place to live. Grapevine, Colleyville ISD. Colleyville is one of the surrounding cities here and um, uh, a school district that people really look, look for and move to the area for in a lot of ways. And um, just a tremendous amount of positives for the area. Uh, location is truly excellent. Um, even for folks that don't live in Grapevine, it's a really neat place to visit. Uh, Grapevine is really well known for Christmas and the way they celebrate Christmas, certainly in town, but really all over Grapevine, uh, that's a big deal. Uh, a really wonderful place to live, uh, a, a small to mid-sized city in a massive metropolitan area that sort of sometimes feels like one giant area. Grapevine stands alone with a really distinct personality of its own. Uh, with, uh, with kind of the origins in the vineyards that are still there. Uh, a really, really neat downtown area. Residential property, mostly 300 and up, but definitely some options still below 300. And like many areas, some pockets that go well above a million dollars. So a wonderful place to live, a great place to check out. It's probably a little bit closer drive to Fort Worth, but it's, it's not terribly difficult to get into uh, Dallas. You can see all the options to get in on 114 and move all around the Metroplex. So a really, really neat place worth checking out, but not the only place. So make sure you check out the other videos in this series as well. If you like this video, click like, let people know it's a good one. If uh, it's something that you feel would be beneficial to other people, please share it with them individually or publicly on social media, however you choose. We'd love to have you do that. Comment below. We respond to all the comments or we can take it offline and communicate one-on-one -on -one if that's better for you there. And then definitely subscribe to our channel here and we will keep making great videos for you in this series and many, many other educational videos. Hope you like them. We'll talk to you on the next one.